Hello viewers, today I have brought this video in front of you to disclose the fact why birds do not get electrocuted. If electrocuted, then when and how? So friends, I am Babu, stay with me to get more sophisticated electrical video. To understand this theory, first of all you have to understand the concept how electricity works, how voltage and current matters to a circuit. If you know all this theory, then it's very good for you. If you don't, then just take a look at this concept. Here, a load is connected with a source. If we want a load to run and work properly, we have to provide sufficient voltage and current to flow. If voltage and current is present in any circuit connected with load, then it might be possible to run a load. To get electrocuted, voltage and current both are required. When a human body or other living being is closer to a electrical circuit, then it works like a load. Human body or other animal have some respective resistances. And we know very well that resistance means load. When an animal is getting electrocuted, then we must think that there is current flowing through his body. Look at this picture of my another video named Live Neutrals and Earth Explanation. Here a man touches a faulty device which is enclosed with metal and current starts flowing through his body and he gets electrocuted. The current flowing through his body and going to the earth which is connected to the neutral. Here the man becomes a load. He completed the circuit. If the man would stand on a plastic chair and touch the device then he would not get electrocuted because he disconnected the circuit. Current flowing path is out of contact. So the man won't feel shock. Similarly in case of birds happen also. I have heard people say that birds do not get electrocuted and I also heard 220 kV is more dangerous than 33 kV for birds. Is this true? Let me show you. Here a bird sits on one of the three phase transmission line which may be 33 kV or 11 kV. And in this particular transmission line between two phase I have shown a load connected with R phase and Y phase and current flowing through the load and the load is running. But sitting on a wire the bird is not getting electrocuted because the bird is not touching another phase to complete the circuit and not flowing current through his body. Look at the legs of the bird there is a gap between two legs. He could get shock if the resistance of the wear would vary high than the bird. Here resistance of the wear is zero. That's why all the currents flowing through it, not through the bird. And in case of big birds like eagle, they fall in danger most of the cases. When an eagle expand its wing, it approximately 2 meters. Look here. The bird is stuck between two phases and burn himself. Yes, it is true. It may happen any time with the birds. When a bird gets electrocuted, then its body can be burned if it is high voltage. At that time, bird act as a load. Look at this picture. In low voltage transmission line, the bird becomes electrocuted and burned as in low voltage transmission line, the gap between the phases is small and in HB gap between the phases is big. And here the same bird is not getting any harm. And in some cases, if a big bird's wing touches only on HB wear, then it might also be electrocuted. Thinking how? Look at this picture. Here the bird's wing touches on wear and the gap between two wear becomes shortened because 
this bird is the part of this wire and this wire comes here and it violated the rules of cap of wire and this way flash what happens and become arcing so here i hope this is enough for today to understand this theory see you in the next video goodbye